वॉट नेक्स्ट आफ्टर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन क्या करना है शुड यू डू सीनियर रेजिडेंसी शुड यू डू अ फेलोशिप शुड यू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिस सो दिस इज अ टॉपिक विच इज अगेन अज डिस्कशन ऑन इट बट जस्ट टू गिव यू अ ब्रीफ आइडिया बिकॉज यूल बी एंटरिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट यू कैन गो फॉर डूइंग अ थ्री ईयर सीनियर रेजिडेंसी विच विल गिव यू मोर एक्सपोजर मोर इंडिपेंडेंस मोर सर्जिकल इंडिपेंडेंस इन द फील्ड और यू कैन सुपर स्पेशलाइज एंड आई गॉट इन अदर क्वेरी आई वॉज सींग मैम वॉट फील्ड कैन वी सुपर स्पेशलाइज इन so just tell me if i missed anything arti uh, we have reproductive medicine gynae endoscopy fetal medicine high risk pregnancies and critical care gynae onco uro gynae and what uh, we are doing medical education so <laughs> have i missed anything no ma'am you have exhaustively covered it all see actually during okay. your 3 years it, that is when you will actually know super specialization and the beauty of this branch is even if you don't go ahead with a super specialization you can do 3 years yeah. or 1 year of senior residency and this practice is a general obgyn it's it's a beautiful branch you know probably the only branch which uh, gives so much of happiness you you should look at the face of the family when you are delivering out the baby and handing over them the baby yeah, that is the ultimate gift it. that you give to your patients so that's there's, what is it's it's an end branch and you can do yes dr aditya there's one more thing there's a, there are a lot of people there are a lot of students who are often asking uh, whether i should be picking up a college on the basis of all the super specialty things if they are being provided if i'm getting great hands on I believe that uh, these three years, these three years of residency are just like a starter to a long career. It is not what your entire learning period, learning curve is going to be about. So it is just a starter. It's it is something more like a head start that you get, and you can be expected to learn everything. In fact, I would stress upon the fact that one should focus on learning core OBGYN in residency, knowing the basics before going ahead and learning the hyper specialist things. so definitely you can't be expecting to learn everything in a span of 3 years it is just not possible you would end up being a uh, jack of all master of none so you would rather be a master of core obgyn and on those basis on those principles you can build upon later on and you can do a fellowship in something that you want or a couple of things that you would love to do in and you can then progress so don't make a choice on the आप मिलता yes, है क्या don't make a choice but yes it is just an added advantage you get exposure to that field so you have an idea later on but it's not a, as I, i said it's not a primary criteria to choose what to or which place to take up your primary criteria remains the same a good academic program and moderate to heavy workload is what i would say as a primary things that you should be looking for yeah i added one more policy making also so those who wanted to ias also can um, uh, choose and change our um, Uh, uh we need to get more uh, uh we should need to have a level playing field uh, uh, this is the the problem why why uh, this whole uh, session we're doing is because it's it's there's no uniformity in post graduate teaching sadly in our country so if somebody wants to change that that would be really awesome or you can do both you can do senior residency and then super specialized take the long route take the more um, uh, you get of course you'll get more experience this way